Golan Shemtov here with the Dell Foglight team. In this video, we will see how we can monitor a Tomcat server running on Docker using Foglight. In general, the same approach should work for other application servers in a similar way. This is our build directory. We have one of our tar Java EE directory from the Foglight installation. We have a Docker file. And we have a Catalina.sh with the Foglight lines, which we will use to replace the default Catalina.sh. Our example is very simple. This is the Foglight lines from the Catalina.sh. As you can see, I'm overriding the application server info with the host name and giving it a cluster name. And I'm also setting system ID to be host name. If you don't set the system ID, what you'll get is all the containers reporting with the same system ID. So this is a nice way to override the system ID and use a meaningful name. This is our Docker file. Pretty simple. We start with a Dell Tomcat image, an image from the Dell repository. We replace the Catalina.sh. We chmod it. And then we add the Java E directory which will automatically extract in this location. We will now build our image and run a couple of instances. Now let's look at our Docker tools. We have four containers running. Those of you who are familiar with Foglight will recognize the lines connecting to Nexus and reporting that the server started and session recording started. All we have to do next is just exercise the applications a little bit. Now that we're done exercising the application, we can switch back to Foglight. We can refresh the monitor host view. As you can see, we have four agents reporting and collecting information. We can now switch to the monitor view. As you can see, we have QA Tomcat system with four servers reporting information, as well as requests that are being processed in the system. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you very much for your time.